This is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. I've never done this before on my YouTube show, but uh, I'm going to start today because this is just a fun question to answer. So I got a question through YouTube, and I don't often reply to the questions I get over YouTube because if I did, I'd probably have a second full-time job answering people's questions. And I do my videos just for fun, actually, to teach people about what I've learned about health and raw foods over the 16 years, actually now 17 since we just came into 2012. I've been doing raw food since 1995. That's a really long time, more than many other YouTubers out there. So I would encourage you to listen to somebody that has a lot of experience doing raw foods, but also getting the results and looking the way that you want to look. You know, if you have a YouTuber that's doing raw foods and they're not looking too healthy and looking sick and uh, maybe overweight, you know, maybe they're not doing maybe raw foods the best way possible. So I've strived over the last 16 years follow the raw foods path to be as healthy as I can and I believe I've succeeded in that. So in any case, let's go ahead and get to this question. So the question is from Coleron75. Hi John. I'm a new 100% vegan raw foodist. I've been working really hard on cleansing all the old toxins out of my body. So this makes me wonder how about negatively cheating on my diet will affect my body health and aging. How much damage would I do if I ate two days worth of goodies at Christmas such as cookies, cakes, cakes, some processed junk and a little dairy? If this is going to undo all the cleansing I've done or do any damage at all then I'll have to avoid these things if I have to. However, I found this Christmas to have been pretty hard for me. Most of my holiday memories are of baking and eating lots of Christmas treats also with a latte. I love your videos and I would really appreciate the advice. Thanks, Andrea. All right, Andrea, so because you are a 100% vegan raw foodist and you, if you did eat two days worth of goodies at Christmas such as cookies, cakes, processed junk, and a little dairy, guess what? You just blew your raw foods diet. Just forget it, you know, you you jump ship. Go back to eating McDonald's and all the processed crap foods in the grocery stores, you know, it's just not even worth doing raw if you can't keep it up 100%. So actually, I'm just kidding. Don't, you know, I'm joking about that. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I want to take some time to explain, you know, what's going on here. So people get this whole idea about like, oh, the 100% raw foods diet. You know, when you do 100% raw foods, you're like superhuman or super mortal or I don't know. They think it's like godly or something, you know, you're spiritually elevated above everybody else. Well, you know what? 100% raw food or wherever you're at, you're just another person too and you're just trying to eat the best diet you can. So instead of focusing on a percentage, I would encourage you to focus on eating as much raw fruits and vegetables as you can. I mean, there are raw foods that in my opinion may be worse than eating some of the processed foods at your um, Christmas dinner, depending on what some of those cooked hopefully vegan foods are that being said you know I don't know it says you are new into raw foods I don't know how long you've been doing it but let me tell you if you've been raw for just a few months and you've been all raw you know while you have done some cleansing you probably have a lot more cleansing to do cleansing can take significant amount of times I mean one time my dad went on a 30-day fast of just water alone and he definitely cleansed out a lot of toxins out of his body but let me tell you even after that 30-day fast of nothing but water, he still had a lot of toxins in his body. So even though you constantly detox with raw foods, no matter how long you've been on it, and I've been into raw foods for a while, and I've pretty well detoxed over a lot of things, but the other thing to remember is that we're constantly being bombarded with air we're breathing, with you know gas fumes when we're filling our car. If you're still burning gasoline, I mean, those things are carcinogenic. Things you touch, if you're touching the receipts, you know, that are thermal image receipts uh, from, you know, when you buy something, they may contain BPA. We're constantly being bombarded with toxins. So we want to, number one, minimize the toxin exposure, including receipts and cleaning products, hair care products, things you put on your body because your body absorbs all these different products. And then also we want to work on detoxing and cleansing. So I don't know if you've done juice fasting, colon cleansing, the master cleanse, or all these other cleanses, but you know, Cleansing is a process. It's not just like, oh, I ate raw foods for a month. I'm clean. 
So what the raw foods diet to me is about, it's about eating as much raw foods sustainably over a long period of time and not beating yourself up about it every time you slip off the wagon or, you know, oh, I'm only 80% raw, I screwed up, and then you go back to McDonald's because, oh, I can't do it, and then you do nothing. That's actually much worse than just like, oh, you may making the conscious decision that you want to eat 50% raw for the rest of your life and just doing it. It's very simple. Just eat more fruits and vegetables and you're going to do it. Maybe you want to get up to 70% raw or 80% raw. In general, I recommend most people eat an 80 to 90% raw foods diet. Now, you know, I don't encourage and I used to encourage people eating 100% raw, but I've been doing a 99.999% raw foods diet since 1995. And you know what? It can be challenging and I don't necessarily recommend it. Especially, like you said in the uh, question, you have holidays memories of baking and eating lots of Christmas treats with a latte. So you know what, if that's what it takes to make you feel good because you know, beating yourself up mentally and feeling guilt, which I'm totally not a believer in guilt and oh, you know, you swore this week, say five Hail Marys and repent, repent, repent. No, we need to get out of that whole guilt thing that just beats ourselves up, it's just bullshit. We need to just do the best we can every day and encourage and praise ourselves for, for when we're doing things right and not discourage ourselves when we do something bad. It's like the negative feedback thing, you know? You, you want to be like the mouse that found, went through the maze and got the food on the other end and was happy, not the mouse that couldn't do it and it got slapped. Because if you teach your kid that, guess what? The kid doesn't learn too much <laughs> and neither will we you know, as real life mouses in mazes trying to get that food. So I would encourage you to maybe give yourself a break. I don't know, once a month, have some things that you, you like because then you'll kind of like not feeling left out. And if you're only eating 70% or 80% raw, that thing that you ate was cooked, you know, make that the 10% or 20% part. And as long as you fill up before you eat the stuff that's maybe not so healthy, um, and you want to make sure obviously you eat organic foods and minimally processed and low heat processed foods as possible for the cooked components, you know, you're going to still reap many of the benefits of raw foods. So if you're eating a 50% raw foods diet, you're going to get 50% of the benefits. And you know, if you eat 70% of raw foods diet, you're going to get 70% of the benefits. If you're eating 100%, you're going to get 100% of the benefits. But that being said, if you're eating 90%, that's still 90% of the benefits, you know, and that's much better than most of the population. The other thing to remember is the percentage of cooked foods you eat. I'm not talking about cooked foods McDonald's or cooked foods Oreos or processed foods. I'm talking about whole, natural, vegan, plant-based foods. So you always want to get, you know, organic things grown sustainably and minimally processed and or heated. So some raw foods like raw agave syrup and all these other things that are fractionated have been highly processed, although they only haven't been heated too hot. Some of those foods, in my opinion, are worse than something like steamed vegetables, like steamed broccoli or a boiled, you boil some food up in the water where it doesn't get actually too hot because the water is like an insulator. Uh, those kinds of cooked foods, in my opinion, are better than highly processed raw foods that haven't been heated above 118 degrees. That being said, you also want to eat your cooked vegetables with a salad. You know, mix the cooked vegetables and a salad together and eat it all at the same time. Hopefully, this video has helped answer your question. Number one, don't beat yourself up for when you kind of get off track a little bit. I would encourage you not to focus on 100% raw foods, but focus on 100% health instead of 100% raw because things that could be raw could actually be very unhealthy in my opinion. Uh, focus on if you are eating cooked foods, eat whole plant-based cooked foods heated at low temperature, meaning steaming and or cooking in water or in the oven at low temperature, not high temperatures, and don't ever fry or microwave your food. Focus on supporting and encouraging and praising yourself when you do well and not focusing on, you know, slapping the hands when you screw up. With these steps, Hopefully you'll be more successful at eating a higher percentage raw foods so that you can have the best health ever. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. 
they're the best.